Story time. This is about my first experience with the Spirit. This is actually part three to the series, so if you want to see the other two videos for context, you can check them out after this one. The links are below. So in my last video, I left off where I had channeled my spirit guides for three days straight and filled up these notebooks full of all kinds of information. Well, after that, I began to hear spirits all of the time everywhere I went. It was freaking exhausting. I'd be riding down the street in my car and I would have spirits flying in and out of my cars, talking to me about the people in the car next door and telling me all about their story and how they died and all of this other stuff. It was just crazy. I remember pulling up to a red light once and I had a spirit hop in my car with me and started telling me about how they died and I look over and there was their memorial on the side of the road where they had died in a car accident. And this was nonstop, it was everywhere. It was in the grocery store, it was in my office, it was everywhere. Just about every person that I knew in this life that had passed away had come to me and started to talk to me as well. So at this point, I felt like I was really going crazy. So I did the only thing that I knew how to do and I called my therapist. And of course she told me to come in and we ended up doing some sort of energy work. To this day, I still have no idea what went on. All I'm aware of is that I laid out on her table and I completely blacked out. And when I came to, it was extremely peaceful and I didn't hear any more spirits. As a matter of fact, I didn't hear any spirits at all, including my guides. It was like it completely went away. And so a few days go by and there was nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. And this is where my spiritual journey really began because I knew that I wanted it back. I wanted to be able to communicate with spirits. I just wanted more control over it. So my therapist ends up introducing me to this astrologer and I go for my first reading. It was a two hour reading and I was absolutely blown away. It had validated so many things that had gone on in my life up to that point. But the most important thing about that reading was it was the first time I was introduced to my true self. There were all kinds of qualities that this astrologer talked about that were a part of me that I never really saw but felt instinctually. And it was very validating to hear somebody talk about me in a way that I couldn't see but always sensed. After that reading, I still had no idea where I was going or what I was doing, but I had some clues. One of the things I felt very strongly drawn to was past life regression. I'm out of time, and this is turning into a story of my spiritual journey. Let me know if you want part four.